Before we show you our next feature, just take a moment and try to figure out who our artist for this week is. Born in 1948, he has a cinematography career that spans over four decades. In his early days, the rich Yoruba culture, plus the experience he got at the London Film School, where he studied the art of filmmaking, prepared him for the height he has attained today. Then let's look at the works of art from other upcoming artists aspiring to attain that status or even become better. And these are your works of art for this week. We'll begin with this work done by Chinedu. It's titled Expectation, done with oil on canvas. Then Limit is a blue and black pen on eggshell paper work of art. It's inspired by the limit of our creativity. Then this work of art is titled Drabba. It's a watercolor on chipboard painting. Godswill Igwe has this elite and the electorate. It's a paper with crayon drawing. It's done with soft sculpture, he says. Beauty in Shapes and Shade, it's a ballpoint pen on card work of art done by Patrick. This portraiture is done by Dami Oladapo Tejosho. He used metal screws on wood to create this piece. Adiola Haruno has this acrylic on paper work titled Peace. She believes there's nothing as soothing as peace of mind. And those are the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate it and encourage you to keep sending more lovely works of art in. The importance of sustaining the Nigerian tradition and heritage is the focus of this event as the Pleasant Kids and West Hills High School Ikorudu present their cultural day. The banner says it all, and the cultural-themed decoration of raffia, baskets and materials to the works of art spread out on the foot of the stage prepares the audience for a spectacular, colorful art fiesta. The hall is packed with the management, pupils and students of Pleasant Kids West Hills High School. All adorned in their traditional best, regardless of their tribe, and some of the visitors follow suit. It begins with a cultural parade, where the children show the different costumes in Nigeria, a country blessed with over 300 tribes, Tiv, Hausa, Fulani, Igbo, Edo, Calabar, Yoruba, Igala, Urobo, are some of the ethnic groups on show. They talk the walk by showing that they know details about the attires they are wearing and not just the steps. They are called Fula people in Mandi language and they are called Fulani or Hilani in Hausa language.
delicacy made in Tigran, made from Nigerian yam. A typical thief person can take this meal for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All that has made an impression on the special guest, Nollywood actor, Funsho Adeolu, who encourages the children to take the lessons beyond these walls. There's no way in the world that you can see a parade of this beauty that you just showed on stage today. There's no way in the world. Nowhere. So it's, it's an effort that should be taken from at, uh, our mothers and our teachers in schools. Everybody is a teacher, whether you are at home or you are in the school. Let your, your children understand how to behave. It is not what you are wearing, but the culture is supposed to be in you. And for those that thought that was all to be enjoyed, there's more in the offering with this drama which explores the theme of unity by using this story that talks about inter-tribal marriage. And it was performed in Yoruba language, but the body language and mannerisms of these budding actors were able to drive the message home. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, I Baba Fola. Hey. Hey, Dad, my fiance. The management of the school explained the reason why they decided to make an elaborate show of the Nigerian way of life, but admit that more support from the parents and society can make the message sink in. The event of today that we all witnessed. Um, tells us that uh, tells us that no matter what happens, whether we are Igbos, because some of the students who danced marvelously well in Igbo attire are really not Igbos. Half of those students you saw, they're not Igbos, just like the other, uh, the other tribes. So we can do what others can do. We are one. We decided to do this, to sensitize people about Nigerian culture. It's not all about westernized, indigenous. We want to pull the fact home that we are Nigerians and Nigerians are peculiar because of their culture. This is not the first time this institution is having such projects aimed at the all-round development of a child. Colorful costumes and nice steps by those children. It's good to catch art young. Encourage the little ones to excel in their studies and skills. That will help them broaden their horizon. Because these days, anything can happen. Just like our artist for this week, who is renowned for his skill as a filmmaker, storyteller, and even more. Popularly called TK, Tunde Kilani was born February the 26th, 1948, attended the Okiona Primary School in Ikija, Abeokuta, Ogun State, and had his secondary school education at Abeokuta Grammar School, during which he saw most of the great Yoruba theater classics, including the Palm Wine Drinkard, Obakoso, Kumumi, Ogunde Plays, and much more. To crown it all, his grandfather was a chief. So during this time, he was privileged to have witnessed most aspects of Yoruba culture, religious beliefs, and literature, which is obvious in most of his movies. He trained at the former Western Nigeria Television and went further to attend the London Film School to sharpen his skills. He's a Nigerian filmmaker, storyteller, director, photographer, cinematographer, 
and producer with a career spanning more than four decades. He is also known for his love of adaptation of literary material into movies, as most of his works have followed that style of filmmaking, including Boshebe, Oleku, Thunderbolt, The Narrow Path, White Handkerchief, Mami, and Dazzling Mirage. In 1991, Tudekilani started his own production company, Mainframe Films and Television Productions, so he could produce films and not just lend the technical support. Having emerged from the world of theater and literature, adaptations of books and plays for cinema are the core of Kilani's filmmaking practice, and through them, he celebrates writers and their work. Yes, Tunde Kilani is our artist for this week, and he just turned 70 recently, so congratulations to him. And there's more to look forward to when you tune in next week. We have a rare collection by this artist. Next week on Art House. Oludotu Pokwala shows us his exhibition of hybrid sculptural pieces at Signature Gallery in Lagos. It's been six months of uh, hard work, six months of rigor, six months of fun, and six months of relating with my materials, six months of self-expression, lock myself in the studio, sometimes 20 hours, I just sleep for four hours and I'm good. So I have enjoyed my six months of hard work and that is what we are seeing today. That's on the next edition of Art House. And much more. So you won't want to miss the next edition of the program. But remember, you can see this or any other edition on our YouTube page so you can play catch up, just in case. I'm Melinda Akinami. Have a beautiful day.